In this chapter, we're going to introduce you to the course, talk a little bit about how the course is organized, talk a little bit about the conventions we're going to use both in the online courseware as well as your written course materials, and we'll talk a little bit about the agenda and what we're going to cover and how it's going to help you prepare for foundation certification. In this lesson, we're going to introduce the organizational structure of the course. We'll do a general introduction, talk a little bit about some of the expectations I hope you'll have both for what we're going to provide you in this course and what you're going to need to do to help in your own preparation and then we'll go through some general housekeeping prior to you beginning your program. There are a number of different levels of EIDL version 3 certification. This particular course introduces EIDL concepts and we'll call this EIDL foundations but this is certainly not the end of the things that you can and probably ought to learn about IT service management. There are a number of intermediate level courses both focused on different aspects of the IT service life cycle as well as clusters of different skill sets and capabilities that enable organizations to do process implementation activities successfully. Lastly, there's an advanced program called Managing Across the Life Cycle. And Managing Across the Life Cycle ensures that people managing and, and driving IT service management initiatives are looking holistically across the life cycle at how to derive the most benefits for their organization. If you're taking part in an online program, you're going to be asked to share your name, your company information, something about the job role that you do, and specific reasons and interests that you have for taking Idle Foundations training. One of the things that's important in working in an online classroom with your online instructor is to help them understand how to effectively relate the material that they're teaching directly to your job role. Likely, likewise, as we're working our way through the training together, one of the things that you're going to want to do is to look at how the various processes and portions of the service life cycle support the activities that you're doing in your organization. In addition to the training programs, one of the benefits of taking part in this learning is your ability to access the IT service management mentoring community. What this is going to allow you to do is both to gain access and feedback from IDLE expert mentors, both about your learning programs, as well as ideas and questions you may have as part of your service management implementation. It also gives you a vehicle to share your guidance, feedback, and experiences in helping the entire IT service management community to move forward. So there are a number of different things I want you to think about as you're working your way through the program. What exactly is the reason you need to learn IT service management? What's your role in your organization in helping to deliver higher quality of service to your customers? There are different things that you're going to need to do to improve your own learning experience. You may wish to watch certain slides a number of different times to make sure that you're comfortable with those key concepts. You also may want to spend some extra energy focusing on the key aspects that are going to support you in your job role so that you can leverage and use that information to better drive the things that you need to see happen in your organization. In many cases, your experiences will help you, but the terminology or the specific aspects of how you use that in an IT service management model may be a little bit different. Look for opportunities to take information from the course to specifically drive improvements into the activities that you do. And then lastly, look for specific opportunities for yourself to grow and perhaps to prepare for that next opportunity or job role within your organization. 